Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Rose. I just wanted to make the official announcement that this Sunday morning, we will be congregating once again in our church facility. Now, this announcement is not just for Equip Church. This announcement also is for uh, the two churches that rent our facility, Iberoamerica and Fortaleza. And so we want to make sure that we share with you our reopening procedures for our church building. There's some requirements that we have to follow, and I just want to make the, this known to you. Uh, so this way you are prepared for this coming Sunday for whichever service you are attending. We want you to know that we will have our Sunday service only. Sunday service only. There will be no kids' ministry activities, no nursery, child care, or classes, nor midweek activities or small groups here in the building. It will be Sunday morning service only or Sunday services only. Uh, space is open to the public. When you come on the church property will be the foyer, the restrooms, and the sanctuary. Now, here's the protocol. We are calling this phase one of our reopening, or we like to say our, our doors are open now once again. Um, number one, we want to let you know regarding sanitizing. The chairs, the restrooms, and the lobby areas will be sanitized before and after each service. The restrooms will be sanitized and cleaned as often as needed during each service as well. Our foyer or the lobby, the greeters will open the main entry doors and the usher will take you to your seat. Uh, that we ask that you please do not congregate. There are also hand sanitizing stations available in the lobby. As far as the sanctuary, we have spaced seating pods. Um, they are from two to six chairs um, in social pods. And we ask for social distancing requirements. We've set them up that way. So please do not rearrange the chairs. As you come in, an usher will assist you to your seat according to however many there are within your family that are with you that day. Also, we ask for personal greetings that we strongly recommend that you do an air hug or you do a hand wave or, and, of course, a big, big smile. We are so happy to have everybody be able to come back together. So those are some ways that you can greet each other. Now, regarding offering, we have uh, offering envelopes that will be provided per each seating pod. We also will have offering buckets that will be placed here in the front of the sanctuary for anyone who would like to drop their offering envelope in. Now, we're going to ask that you do it during our worship service. The baskets will be at the front, and feel free to come up and, you know, make sure you keep your distancing as much as possible. So uh, we also want to encourage you to continue giving online for those that prefer that as well. We do want to let you know that the length of our service will be approximately about an hour, hour and 15 minutes maximum. Uh, again, there will be no kids ministry, no nursery or child care. Now, we have on our website, um, under our kids ministry, we're going to ask the parents that uh, if, if you would like, you can have your children bring their digital tablets, their iPads, their uh, phones or whatever digital device that they can utilize to be able to uh, access their children's class. We have designated each children's class for the specific age, for preschool, for elementary, and preteen as well. And so they can do that as our pastor is preaching. Then have your children bring their headphones and their digital devices, and they can receive their classes online right there in their seats. We also want to let you know that uh, you are welcome to wear a face mask if you would like. And so we're not, there's no judgment. There's no, if you are comfortable wearing a face ma mask, then please do so if you're not. That's fine as well. Uh, regarding social hygiene, if you need to sneeze or cough, we ask that you please cover your mouth and cover your nose as well. Our drinking fountains that are in the lobby will remain closed. They are shut down uh, for safety precautions. Now we would like to reiterate, if you have a fever or are not feeling well, please stay home. Please stay home for your safety and everybody else as well. We will continue live streaming or uh, airing our services online for those who are not able to come due to illness or have pre-existing health conditions 
and or are the most vulnerable and at risk, please remain home and continue joining us online. Now, we're happy that we can once again come together as the body of Christ to worship in the Lord's house, in this church building. And we're so excited, and we want you to come with a spirit of expectancy. We want you to come ready to praise and worship God. I know it's been a long time, and we are so happy that we're finally able to open our doors within certain parameters, and so we're adhering to that. So we're taking every precautionary measure to ensure everyone's safety. Now, we look forward to seeing you all this coming Sunday and upcoming Sundays. If there are any changes, stay tuned throughout next week for any more announcements. God bless you, and we can't wait to see you.